Tropinars and Hamden Turner Culture Model. The Seven Dimensions of Culture. With Questions and Answers. Universalism. It is the belief that rules and practices can be applied everywhere without modification. People place a high importance on rational ideas, rules, values, and obligations. They try to deal fairly with people based on formal rules, and rules come before relationships. Countries with high universalism include Germany and Australia. Particularism. It is the belief that circumstances dictate how ideas and practices should be applied. People believe that each circumstance and relationship dictates the rules that they live by. Reality is subjective, and people place a greater emphasis on relationships. Responses change, based on the situation, and who is involved. Countries with high particularism, include Venezuela, and Indonesia. Individualism. People regard themselves, from an individualistic point of view. They believe in personal freedom, and achievement. People believe that you make your own decisions, and that you must take care of yourself. A country with high individualism, is the United States. Communitarianism. People regard themselves as part of a group, and the group is more important than the individual. The group provides help and safety, in exchange for loyalty. The group always comes, before the individual. Countries with high communitarianism, include China, Japan, and Singapore. Specific. In this culture, individuals have a large public space they share, and a small private space, shared with only close friends, and associates. People keep work, and personal lives separate. They believe that relationships, don't have much of an impact on work objectives, and people can work together, without necessarily cultivating relationships. Diffuse. In this culture, public space and private space are similar, and entry into public space, affords entry into private space as well. People see an overlap, between their work, and personal life. They believe that good relationships, are vital to meeting business objectives, and that their relationships with others, will be the same, whether at work, or meeting socially. Neutral. People make a great effort, to control their emotions. Reason influences their actions, far more than their feelings. People don't reveal what they're thinking, or how they're feeling, and emotions are held in check. Neutral cultures, include Japan, and Britain. Effective, emotional. People want to find ways, to express their emotions. People often smile, and greet each other, with enthusiasm. In these cultures, it's welcome, and accepted to show emotion, and emotions are expressed openly, and naturally. High affective or emotional cultures, are Mexico, Italy, and Spain. Achievement. People are accorded status, based on how well they perform their duties, careers, and functions. People believe that you are what you do, and they base your worth on this. Achievement cultures value performance, as opposed to societal status, or titles. Achievement cultures, include the USA, and Austria. Ascription. People are accorded status, based on who or what a person is, for example, King Charles of England's status, is ascriptive. In this culture, people believe that you should be valued, for who you are in society, as opposed to what you do. Power, title, and positions, matter in these cultures, and these roles define behavior. Ascription cultures, include Venezuela, Indonesia, and China. Sequential time. People like events to happen, in a chronological, and consecutive order. Punctuality is highly appreciated, and people plan their lives, in schedules, specific and clear deadlines, and the waste of time, is not tolerated. They place a high value, on punctuality, planning, and schedules. Synchronous time. People see time periods as intertwined, they often work on several things at a time. They are also flexible, with the spreading of time, and commitments. People see the past, present, and future, as interwoven periods. Internal direction. In inner directed culture, people believe in controlling outcomes, and have a dominant attitude, 
toward the environment. They believe that they can control nature, and their environment, to achieve set goals. This includes how they work in groups, and within organizations. External direction. In outer directed culture, people believe in letting things take their own course, they have a flexible attitude, by a willingness to compromise, and maintain harmony with nature. People believe that nature controls them, and they must work with their environment, to achieve goals. At work, or in relationships, they focus their actions on others, and they avoid conflict, where possible. Universalism versus Particularism What is more important, rules or relationships? Individualism versus Collectivism Do we function in groups, or as individuals? Neutral versus Emotional Do we display our emotions? Specific versus Diffuse How separate we keep our private, and working lives? Achievement versus Ascription Do we have to prove ourselves to receive status, or is it given to us? Sequential versus synchronic. Do we do things one at a time, or several things at once? Internal control versus external. Do we control our environment, or are we controlled by it? Two businesses, from two different countries, are proposing a strategic alliance. A young junior employee, was sent to country B, to conclude the negotiation based on his communication skills, but the employee was not given an audience, and the negotiation failed. The negotiation failed most likely, but as country B practices, what type of culture? Outer directed. Ascription. Low power distance. Synchronous. The answer is B. Ascription is the cultural tendency, of assigning social status, on the basis of birth, such as monarchies, caste systems, and traditions, where societal roles are determined by birth. In ascriptive cultures, titles, rank, and hierarchy, are important in and of themselves. Often these titles are bestowed upon individuals, not because of any achievement of their own, but because of a family's rank and status in the society. A good example is Prince Charles of England, his role is ascriptive. On the other hand, a culture of achievement, values a merit-based assignment of social status, where members earn their positions, based on their decisions, education, hard work, etc. In what culture, is a verbal agreement, or handshake, likely to be better received, than a formal contract? Outer directed. Particularist. Universalist. Ascriptive. The answer is B. Particularism, is the belief that circumstances, dictate how ideas and practices should be applied, i.e., relationships over rules. Universalism, is the belief that ideas and practices, can be applied everywhere, without modification, i.e. rules over relationships. A collectivist culture, is more likely to highly value, personal freedom, individual roles, and responsibilities. Universalism. An orderly society. The answer is D. A collectivist culture, is more likely to value an orderly society. Collectivist cultures, emphasize the needs and goals of the group, as a whole over the needs, and desires of each individual. In such cultures, relationships with other members of the group, and the interconnectedness between people, play a central role in each person's identity. Kate is involved in a virtual, international business negotiation. If the culture of the country she is negotiating with, has a universalistic culture, which of the following, will be good advice for Kate to follow? A. Be ready to make spur-of-the-moment decisions. B. Give specific instructions, and ground rules, at the beginning of the business negotiation. C. Be boisterous in greetings, and enthusiastic in responses. D. Refrain from showing excessive emotions. The answer is B. Cultures based on universalism, favor formal rules, and clear, precise, specific instructions. The focus is more on the rules, than the relationship. Universalist cultures, include Canada, the US, the UK, and Australia. A CEO, decides not to make an overarching decision, 
without asking others in the company, for their opinions first. It can be deduced, that the company practices a, culture, is the cultural tendency, of assigning social status, on the basis of birth. In, culture, people believe that each circumstance, and each relationship, dictates the rules that they live by. The, culture, generally consists of highly motivated people, who need little to no supervision. Dash cultures tend to value priorities, more than a predetermined time limit. They will do what is right to do at the moment, not follow a strict schedule. A CEO decides not to make an overarching decision, without asking others in the company, for their opinions first. It can be deduced that the company, practices a communitarianism culture. Ascription is the cultural tendency, of assigning social status, on the basis of birth. In particularism culture, people believe that each circumstance, and each relationship, dictates the rules that they live by. The achievement culture, generally consists of highly motivated people, who need little to no supervision. Synchronic cultures, tend to value priorities, more than a predetermined time limit. They will do what is right to do at the moment, not follow a strict schedule. And with that, we come to the end of today's lesson. Check out the description box below, for additional resources towards earning, the PHR, SPHR, SHIMCP, and SHIMSCP. LinkedIn Practice Group. SHIMCP, SHIMSCP, PHR, SPHR, Practice Courses. Books on Amazon. Remember to subscribe, and join our membership.